All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this landscape fire in Australia with the fire below here. All right, the question of the day is, why is Australia's 2019 fire season so bad? All right, let's run through the colors. Clean blue, ultramarine blue, cad yellow, primary yellow, Indian yellow, pearly orange, twin red, pearly red dark, Vela green, Mars black, titanium white. <laughs> layer we're kind of filling in the clouds roughly it goes from these blues to um, a darker kind of you know you got the smoke kind of coming through here we have a very light color so we want that kind of poke through the sunlight's kind of poking through here sunlight kind of poking through here a little bit darker a little bit darker from the red and flames here you have kind of the fire element with the sun mixed and then we're gonna have kind of neutral colors at the bottom I may need to lighten out those bottom layers um, but I'm gonna add smoke and stuff so we'll see we have a preliminary kind of skyline. I didn't take it up into the horizon too much, just blended it so you have that, it meets the horizon. Um, so we'll have the trees there as our final layer. And then we kind of blanked in kind of the foreground, which is just kind of this um, road going to the horizon, which is gonna pull your eye here. Eventually we'll add the telephone pole back in to kind of have draw uh, leading lines going through here and there. And we're gonna have the center here, so we kinda of wanna pull attention here. I think just color-wise it's gonna pull together because everything else is a mix of white with something, and this is kind of your pure orange here. So we're gonna have, see how that works? Gonna have a, a real yellow here um, where the sun's coming to come through. And we'll see how it turns out in the next layer. All right, for this layer, what we're gonna do is finally define these clouds, make sure some of the colors are correct. Um, we do have some white spots coming through, so we wanna make sure in this level to actually get this coated so there's no white coming through. Some of the white will be nice as far as the cloud cover. Um, we gotta work on the sky. I'm just gonna leave this uh, green as is for now because we gotta multi-layer that once the uh, actual sky is done. So we're gonna leave that for now. And it's gonna leave the telephone pole out for now as well. So let's get to it. <laughs>
right, we just laid in kind of a, a little preliminary tree coverage here. Uh, we got a little poking through, we gotta add a little bit more green there. Um, I think we're gonna add in the tree and the telephone pole. I think I'm okay with this guy. It's not perfect, but it does have a lot of color variation and emotion to it. Uh, not exactly realistic, but it's getting there. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. I'm thinking instead of the tree, I might do a burnt tree and then kind of scar the ground here. That might make it more interesting to pull in through this. Uh, yeah, we'll see uh, where we go from here. Australia and the fire season in 2019 so what has happened is in 2019 they had extremely dry weather basically a drought so all of the green areas of Australia kind of dried out around the coast especially the east coast where you have some major cities and but also you had um, fire issues in the north as well so north and east but all around the coast of Australia is basically on fire more or less but the heaviest part is in East Australia over 300,000 hectares of burns is really extreme. A lot of koalas lost their life. They were in reserves and quite a lot of damage to the environment. Now this was gonna happen anyway because of the drought. Uh, you can't avoid that when you have a drought and then a high um, hot season, it's just gonna be natural fire conditions. However, one of the issues was, is the liberal government at the national and the state level had cut funding for fire resources, even though the fire chiefs had said, no, it's gonna be a really bad season. We need extra people, not less people. So they cut the funding. And not only this, but the prime minister went on vacation right when the fire started or right before the fire started. So he's out of the country. There's no coordination, like the worst you know, shit show basically ever by government. So, you know, hopefully Australia learns its lessons and develops maybe some better water resources so that they don't run low on water. So they have the resources to actually fight the fires. Um, but yeah, it's really difficult if you have a naturally dry, hot season. California had a similar issue. So there's not much you can do when it gets that really dry and hot. Um, it is just naturally fire kind of seasons, especially if the plants start to die off and they're just kindling on the ground, so to say. So that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. Can't get that close. Um, so we have this really nice cloud definition. It's kind of like uh, multiple colors kind of blending in and out. 
I'm not sure it's realistic, but it kind of has the colors of a realistic um, cloud uh, thing. You have the sunset kind of slashed with the smoky horizon blending here. And you have the smoke on the horizon forming. You have this really nice um, telephone. I simplified it down just to two wires versus it was three and some other stuff. I just thought it was just too busy. Uh, you have the fire in the about that sweet spot of the golden ratio, and you have this other tree to kind of balance it out. I decided to take out that um, full tree in the end. I really like this sky, and I was like, why waste it on some poles? The telephone poles are fine because they're really skinny, so they really don't block too much of the sunset. But that big tree would have taken out three quarters of that sky, and the bottom sky is really nice. I'm not sure about the bottom. Um, trees so much they're kind of very faint um, I probably need some work there if I want to make it look exactly right but it is very expressionistic kind of style painting so overall I think I'm pretty happy we'll see hopefully we find a buyer for this <laughs> hopefully you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you want to subscribe you can subscribe below and if you want to see the full version check my patreon account um, and I'll see you in the next painting video thanks for watching guys